gun owners are suing the Canadian government. What's this all about and why should anyone else care? Two reasons. It's going to be a historic case and it's going to have an effect on every Canadian citizen. The fight between licensed gun owners and the government is about what the government is able to do to its citizens legally. Apparently, Canadians don't have property rights. This seems to be the verdict from other historic cases on the subject. But what does this mean for people who don't own guns? It means that currently, the government can decide without any real justification that something you own should be illegal and will be confiscated. The way the law is today, this can apply to anything. Your land, your bank account, your car, anything you legally own. And under any pretense, climate, emergency, pandemic, public safety, the economy, literally anything. We are in the midst of a historic gun ban. It equates to a massive confiscation of property from hundreds of thousands of people who legally acquired it. These RCMP vetted Canadians are licensed to own these firearms and are inherently responsible. The government hasn't felt an obligation to justify it other than with political sloganeering and highlighting the acts of criminals who are already banned from possessing firearms in the first place. Today, it's about legally purchased firearms, but tomorrow, it might be about something you own or a right you value. If you don't want to fight this on your own later, get involved in this fight now. Be a part of history and donate what you can to the CCFR's legal trust.